Hey guys, I'm uh, finally back from a very long <laughs> gap between videos. Um, I've been doing some spring cleaning in the studio, and uh, by that I mean I've been getting rid of pretty much all my pedals. Uh, there's a few reasons for that. Number one, I haven't played guitar live in almost 10 years, which is kind of scary to think about because that was my first instrument. I've been mainly doing vocals and bass live, um, which is it's, it's, it's fine. I, lo I still love it, and, and, and I love singing, but... Uh, yeah, it was just it was just funny because I realized that the last time I used any of my guitar pedals was actually on the first Malakota record. Most clients I've had have either brought their own pedals or have used amp sims like uh, the Axe Effects or Kemper or, or whatever. There's a few that I'm holding on to, obviously, because uh, I still find uses for them in the studio uh, when we're tracking our stuff. I did actually come across something very interesting uh, that my tech, um, my tech actually discovered it. They're a brand of pedal called Ogre. And as far as I know, they only came out with three pedals, and I think they came out with a guitar at one point. Um, I've actually got uh, a pamphlet here, which I'll, I'll quickly throw up on the screen. Apparently, these were pretty expensive. I think they were they were over. I think they were around 200 bucks U.S. Maybe when they came out. Again, it's very hard finding information on these. They look gimmicky as hell, but they sound friggin' amazing. There's a metal distortion pedal called the Thunderclap Distortion, and it's probably one of the better distortion pedals I've ever used. I'm not actually a big fan of distortion pedals. Uh, like overdrive pedals, yeah. Distortion pedals, I mean, especially the ones that are marketed for metal tend to sound very tinny. But this guy's actually got a lot of meat behind it. I'm not the biggest fan of using a bunch of pedals to get your tone, especially when it comes to distortion. Like if you're not happy with the gain coming out of your amp, then you should probably change the amp or do a mod to it. Like, if, if you have to put, like, an EQ, a compressor, and, like, three gain pedals and, and a gate and all this other crap in front of it, like, it's, uh, it, you should probably just get another, another amp, um, you know, sell it, trade it in for something else, because all that work, because that's not your amp at that point. At that point, it's all the pedals doing the work. In the pamphlet here, you can see the English translation is pretty bad. I, I think it's been translated from, from Japanese. Um, I mean, the slogan says, Company, we're heading toward people with its top quality and technology. That's the new material guitar that you see there, which looks kind of cool. Now, if you look at the Thunderclap distortion, uh, the product description says, It is installed with the strong high-gain distortion sound as shaped when playing with diverse sounds or strong distortion sounds. You can hear deep and sustained sounds like a vacuum tube. The luxury three-dimensional design gives confidence to players. Again, the translation isn't the best here, so bear with me. Properties. It has an endurable, strong, and functional design that help to easily memorize how to set it. When operating the effector, bright LED will tell you that it is working. <laughs> Functions. Minimize noise by separating PCB into power panel and effect operating panel. By using a pedal type of switch, we reduce possibility of any malfunction during switching on off. And then body material, it's aluminum die casting. The horns on its head are actually the controls, and from left to right, it's level, bass, treble, and gain. Which is like, like that's such a cool th feature. Like, it it looks gimmicky, as I said, but everything is functional. You know, the, the eyes light up, that's that's kind of like, you know, hey, I'm on. The mouth is actually a foot switch. And it's actually pretty durable. Like, it feels good when you're clicking on it. And the horns are the the horns are the knobs to the to the damn thing, which is pretty neat. Um, it has input, output, and DC input, uh, and then, you know, it, it, it basically uses a 9-volt power supply. You can also use a battery with it. What I'm using to track this is I'm actually using a, I guess it's a newer guitar. I've had it for a couple of months, but I guess I haven't really showed it off. Um, and it's an LTD Bella Lugosi going through the Blackstar HT5 head going through its matching 212. And all I'm using is an SM57 in the middle of the left speaker, and I'm going through my RME preamp. And I'm gonna show it to you just with the amp on its clean setting, and then I'm gonna show it, it's, I'm still using a clean setting, but I'm just using a thunderclap distortion.
I really dig the sound of this pedal, and uh, this maybe this video doesn't do it justice, but I just wanted to do a quick video on this because I just want to see if there's even anybody out there that knows more about these guys, if they're even around anymore. Their website's pretty barren, and uh, I can't find any of these anywhere. They had a, a third pedal, which in the pamphlet says is coming out soon, and it's a delay pedal called the Chrono Master, and I haven't been able to find that one anywhere. I don't even know if it even came out. But yeah, if anybody has any, any more information on these guys, that would be great, because I'm very curious to learn more. And if anybody's even seen one of their guitars, that would be super cool, because I'd love to check that out. Anyways, this has been a long overdue video. I'm probably going to have another one coming up soon, um, but if you dig this, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay in the loop, and uh, we'll see you soon. This is Lucas signing off.